Uh, hello, so I have this piece detail, right? And it's just got one plate welded on it. So, uh, obviously this welding symbol is not perfect. Uh, I'm not too worried about this right now. It's not the topic, but something like that, right? Uh, maybe delete some of those dimensions. Uh, maybe put them, you know, maybe put this on the other side. But, uh, but the point of the video is I don't really have the proper direction that I want uh, in the detail. So it's fine because I have this section view which is showing it's looking this way. So the guy should not make a mistake. But these guys make mistakes all the time as we all do. So what you can do is you can either change the orientation of this. Which takes a second. You have to go find the beam. Stuff like that. So... I guess I'll go to through the both ways. So let's say we want to give a top view. So just double click on the outside box, click on your top view, always on OK. And that'll turn on the view, hopefully up here, but possibly anywhere on the sheet. So it's over here. So let's move this back over. Now you're going to have to line it up. Sometimes it comes in, it's already lined up. Other times, as is the case here, it's not. So I'm just going to move it in line with this. All right. And now I can move it up. So now at this point, the guy can see from the top view. Now, if you want to turn off the system line, let's turn off the system line. Um, sometimes I leave the system lines on. So here's your plate. You can see it's on the far side. Also here, you can insert a label. And... You can set this to come in with the depth position on it if you want. So if you want to do that, then you just uh, let me delete the label and I'll show you. So insert label and then change and it's a plate. This is set to current and it's a plate and it's an attached part. So it's coming in with the single part. So. Um, so a single part, what I'll do is we'll create another one. A single part and depth. Uh, oh, the old caps lock all day long. Writing emails are in caps lock. <laughs> if I could only type without looking at the keyboard. Um, maybe that's on my list of things to learn how to do. So you can see here it has it and it has the leader line. Apply, OK. And now, when I put this in, it'll come in with the depth position. So now you have, this is showing you that it's on the far side, and this is showing you it's on the far side. Because sometimes, when you plot it out, it's not so clear on the drawing. I'll just plot it anywhere. Um, you know, you can see it's a dashed line, so they should know, but it's also the dashed line. Now it says the far side, and now it's also showing the top view. <clears throat> now, really, what you probably should do in this case is you should change the orientation of the piece, right? So it's a main part. So we have to find this main part, so it's 1B7. So as you can see, I have a lot of piece details open here. So what I'm going to do is close some of these. Because uh, I can't even see my model back here because I've, you know what, let me maximize this. So I'm on the ultra wide screen so I can see it now. So I'll go back, I'll switch back in a second. So what I want to do is come in here, go to home, project viewer, model browser. Uh, what was it, 1B7? So pick 1B7, double click on that and it's selected over here. So this is the beam. So let's close that and now we want to change the orientation of this so I'm going to rotate through the Y axis. Now this doesn't work as good with plates so it should be looking into the Z axis is the direction we want so select that come down here and this is for the assembly detail so I'll change that and you know what while I'm here I'll also change the single part detail and I'll go back in and update that. <coughs> So this was the 1B7, this is it here. So now we're gonna go in here and 
you can see I don't I also don't have the dimension in for this which I will put up here on this one so labels and dimension update detail and it should flip around and it did flip around sometimes it doesn't exactly work how you might think so I guess I don't have my I have to set it up where my drawing is coming in with this coming in automatically uh, haven't quite got to that yet but that is on my list of things to do an absolute broken dimension line and that's it so I'll actually put this on the near side and move it up a little so that's what you got we'll also I should also put this change this label so you can see this is the level I put in before I want to delete that so make sure you delete that but you're going to do one or the other so this is probably what you're going to do if there's only one plate and it's on the far side you really should change the orientation so I hope that helps anyone that's having issues with uh, how their beams are coming out in drones uh, just kind of covers two ways of doing it you can do it quickly or you can just go in and change the orientation all right take care bye So just as a follow up on the previous, uh, on the video I just did, you will then notice that obviously you flip the beam around and now it's north. Generally this is west and south. So if you do the labels like I do, uh, you're gonna have to leave the label on this side. Generally my label is on the left hand side. So just be aware or else they'll get a number on the wrong side of the beam. Uh, I don't know if anyone else puts the numbers on them uh, like this, but, uh, that's something to be aware of. You might get caught if you drag this over here. It, it won't match the erection drawn. So uh, just be careful with that. All right. Thank you.